Last week, it was announced to the public that after 15 seasons in Brampton, the battalion are expected to relocate to North Bay for next season. Located just outside the hockey hotbed of Toronto, Brampton has finished last in the OHL in attendance in each of the past three seasons. This has prompted ownership to look for other options. Phil Ercolani is one of many employees affected by the news. I've been here for 10 years and every year it seems like the battalion's moving. What we do here is basically survival mode and that we're trying to get as many butts and seats as possible with the hope that they come back again. People always conf uh, would criticize us for marketing. Well, I think if, in order to pro market properly, you have to have a market first, you know, because Rogers TV is a great local partner, but people don't, it is what it is. For Ant and Guardian, if we, have a pl we had played a game on Friday, we played it Saturday in Barry, today against Guelph, people won't read about it in their paper until Wednesday. So. These are the challenges we have. And so years ago, we took our website and made it our media center. And before video was on websites, we were doing it because we had to do it because we didn't have that that uh, dinner time uh, news uh, show where that would kind of give people their update. Any minor hockey team in the Brampton Hockey Association got 20 tickets free from us. So at least come to one game, yeah. right? Um, last year, we only had 42% didn't even respond to us, didn't even take the free tickets. The overall feedback we've had from our fans, uh, for the most part, has been positive. And people are sad, obviously, mm -hmm. but they kind of understand. And they, they're very thankful. And we've had a lot of letters of thank of gratuity to our owner for sticking it out uh, 15 seasons and honoring the police. North Bay was home to an OHL franchise until 2002, when the team was relocated to Saginaw. Fans are excited. Kind of like the, the boy or girl that, you know, broke up with their high school sweetheart and they'd do anything to get it back. And that's kind of what we, the impression we've got with the overwhelming amount of support is that they lost their OHL team. It was almost stolen from them and now there's a chance to get it back so they're kind of just going crazy up there. Phil is planning to work with the team in North Bay. It's a mixed emotions type thing. Um, it was around this time last year that I was asked if the decision was to move, what would I be doing? And, you know, and I pretty much told them that uh, at this point, unless I meet the love of my life between now and then, or I get an opportunity that I can't turn down, I said I would definitely go for one year. And at that point, obviously, I don't think they would have a problem replacing me. Most employees were offered a job with the team in North Bay. However, for some people, a move just isn't feasible. Um, unfortunately, I mean, with them relocating, um, I was planning to stick on with them next year, um, to doing the same sort of thing that I'm doing now. Obviously, that's not going to be uh, something that's happening now, but um, I mean, it's a great staff here and people have a lot of connections, so I'm sure if I, if I needed them as a reference, I could absolutely do that. And uh, the hardcore fans, um, even though it's not the biggest fan base in the league, the people who come all the time, I mean, you got to feel bad for them. I mean, they're losing their team, they're losing their community team, and it's something that uh, they're passionate about, and it's, uh, it's unfortunate for them, for sure. Peggy Madden saw the first captain play, and will see off the last in her time as a fan. We're very upset. We've been coming here for 15 years, like I said, well, it's 16 now, actually. We were billets for 10 out of the 15. My husband's involved with the team, so it's a big part of our life that the end of this season is going to be gone. So I think part of the problem is that the community didn't support them enough. I mean, there's a lot of people in this city, and we have a hard time filling the ring. We've got one kid on our team who's been here for five years. It's hard on them. The only good thing I think is when they go there, they may have a full arena, which will be good for the boys. Cameron Wind is an overage defenseman for the battalion. As the first member to play five seasons with the team, there's a lot to miss. I miss most. I don't know, just the routine. Like, it's gonna be weird next year waking up every day and not doing the same things I've been doing for the last five years. Yeah. It's it's hard, especially like this weekend when we have a three and three, and say we have play Friday, Saturday on the road, and maybe we'll play like a London and a Windsor. And then you come here on Sunday, Sunday at 2 o'clock, and it's just dead. We'll be lucky to get 17, 1,800 fans. And it's, it's, it's kind of a, it's a struggle in a way because we don't really have a lot of support, but it's something you get used to. Yeah. You know, a, a few times we've been talking about it, we compare the next season to, like, Winnipeg Jets. I think the fans are just going to go nuts the first season. I think I'd be lying if I said that the community would genuinely be affected by the loss of our team. But I mean, at least for them, they have Mississauga to go to like five minutes down the road. So it's not, you know, there could be worse things. Since news of the move, merchandise sales have increased. 
people are going up with the team. I mean, that's a huge transition to move from Brampton to North Bay, so everyone will make their decision based on their family and what they think is right. Uh, All this stuff, yep, uh, will go up to North Bay. We will have an end of the year sale, um, but all the stuff that says Brampton Battalion, we will have a sale on. <laughs> Brampton's time in the OHL is almost up. 1,923 fans saw the 5-1 win over the Gulf Storm on Sunday, while North Bay has already sold almost 2,000 season tickets. Community, players, and personnel. Everyone will be affected when the Brampton Battalion moved north later this year. With 22 home games left, Brampton's time in the OHL is coming to an end. From the Powerade Centre, I'm Alex Lombardi for Toronto Today.